Everybody. Well, have you thought about playing console games on the Quest uh, 3 in mixed reality? Well, it is possible with an app called Immersed. Now, I'm using the starter version. There's also a pro version which allows you to uh, put more screens, have a higher resolution uh, stream uh, to your headset. Uh, you support both uh, USB in developer mode and Wi Fi, but of course, if you want less lag, you really want to use the USB option. So you can see me playing, well, this is on a PlayStation 5, a Rocket League. I'm playing with a, a PlayStation a DualSense controller. Uh, and you can see this on a virtual screen that I put there in my room. You can see here that I'm actually playing on a curved display. So if you wonder how it is playing on a curved display, we can actually play on a curved or just easily change it to a flat screen. Not curved. As you can see, with just a click. You can enlarge it. You can move it around. You can play, for example, just lying on your bed and put the screen on top. Uh, and yeah, very easy, very intuitive. Now, I was actually surprised how good it looks. Now, of course, this is virtual content. We expect it to look sharp, especially on the Quest 3. Uh, but it's also a mixed reality. It looks really nice because, again, the feed of the real world also looks uh, nicer. 10 times more resolution than the Quest 2. So everything just playing together so nicely, which I really felt like I'm actually playing on a big screen in my room. Now keep in mind, the app has lots of options. This is just one aspect of it that I'm demonstrating in this video. We can even add more screens and make it kind of a productive environment for multiple screens. This just shows you that eventually the future will be that we will have virtual uh, screens. It won't deal with any physical uh, displays. Right now, of course, uh, this is not the quality that you get, uh, for example, with your latest OLED screens and it looks incredible. But still, you see that the future eventually will lead to uh, these type of uh, displays replacing the physical ones. I do expect, of course, uh, Apple Vision Pro to be, of course, much better, to provide you with much higher quality in that aspect. That will be something that you really will consider replacing your screen and actually using, whether it's for work or for entertainment, uh, watching content uh, using uh, Apple's headset. Here we go. Here I'm playing Overwatch 2. Again, this is on the PlayStation 5. Of course, we can stream um, different content. The way it works is like that. Basically, I have my uh, PS5 or Nintendo Switch, which I'm sure in a moment, connected to my video capture card. The video capture card is connected to the PC. And there I have OBS Studio, which actually shows the capture card. And what I do, I enlarge it into a full screen. So basically, you see here my desktop, but because I enlarge the OBS, uh, that shows the gameplay to the entire screen, to full screen, what you see here is the, only the gameplay and not my desktop. Now, there's definitely a lag again for fast action games it won't be uh, ideal uh, but again you kept to the minimal that the system can but again uh, there is a lag for first person shooters for example this is something that i probably won't play uh, like that i would rather have something with fast reaction without delays or anything and now the nintendo switch playing zelda breath of the wild 
on the Quest 3. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. So you can see again that I can create a small screen or I'm not limited to really enlarge it super huge if you want, right? for example, something like 100, 150 inch display, you can do that. can by the way extend it from the side so it's, it will be anchored to the left for example if you use the right the top right or if you use the top left it's going to be anchored to the bottom right so you can extend it like that Yeah, playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch on the Quest 3 in mixed reality. And because again, this is a slower game, it's not fast paced that requires really super fast um, response, it works very well. And I really enjoy it. I mean, playing this one on a large screen, amazing. Also keep in mind that I, I don't actually need to wear headset that's connected to my computer. I can hear the sound, everything from the Quest speakers. All right, so how you do it? Let me give you a quick instructions. All right, so this is some of the official support website. Basically, you need to first, again, forget the console right now, all right, and uh, capture card. You first need to download the Immersed onto your MetaQuest, the app. Uh, again, uh, depends on the Quest, uh, sorry, on the device you're actually using. In terms of support, I'm gonna show you, it supports, uh, if you need, uh, you see Windows PC or Mac OS, and in terms of support headsets, uh, MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest Pro, MetaQuest 3, Pico 4, Vive Focus 3, and Vision Pro coming early 2024. Then you need to go through the guided tutorials. The instruction on the, in the app when you use it in the headset is very simple, very uh, straightforward, and just follow it. Uh, and uh, then you need to download and install the Immerse Desktop Agent. This is the software you install your PC. They recommend also restarting. I, by the way, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did restart. Uh, then you run the software and you prompt to sign in to enter uh, and secure the pairing code. Basically, you get a code in the app, in the headset, it allows, and it asks you to actually put it into the software itself. Then they can pair together. Make sure to connect, connect again the headset uh, to your PC. And then just follow the tutorial. After you finish pairing between them and they talk, you can actually see the PC, but it's not over yet. The next thing again is uh, having a capture card, connecting your console to the capture card in the capture card connected to your PC. Then again, this is there are many capture cards, so I can't really tell you how to do it exactly. But when you're inside OBS, you're gonna see uh, the option uh, to add a video capture device. And basically it will create a alert where the capture device output will show in OBS Studio. Then once you see your the content for the content of the console, you need to right click on the screen and choose full screen projector preview and choose the display. Uh, if you're playing on the laptop, uh, it's going to be the the laptop display. If your two uh, displays, 
I choose uh, one of them. I actually just disconnected the second display, so I didn't want to mess around with some issues connecting the two displays. And basically it will display the, the console output on the entire screen. And once you're inside the app, you'll be able to see it uh, in the window. By the way, you have option to see it in this virtual reality as well. But if you look at your hand, put the palm of your hand forward, and you have the option to click Mixed Reality, and it will change to Mixed Reality. So that's kind of a quick way how to do it. And uh, yeah, I wish you good luck, have fun with it, and tell me what you think about this feature. Thanks for watching.